You talking no expense spared on this channel? No, no, look, this is going to completely defocus the camera every chance it gets. We'll see how it goes. So we've not done a video since before Christmas. Uh, a lot of stuff's packed away, so I haven't got a lot of stuff out to show. We have got some pickups at the minute, though. Got some lazy discs. We've got video game activity, DVDs, Splathouse Three on the go. Pretty expensive game, actually. Uh, no, we haven't got this. This is actually a 112, I think, game cartridge for the Mega Drive. So it's like a Super Everdrive. You ever heard of one of those? But um, it's got a limited number of games and an excellent lineup. In fact, Retrocore did a video with all the games on here. Uh, I'll link that in the description below. It's fantastic. A real excellent lineup of games. Uh, slight gripe. I think a couple of mine don't work. Alien Soldier, Golden Axe 3, and maybe Rocket Knight Adventures 2. Just give me black screen. I've got a suspicion it's because I'm running on a Switch Mega Drive. Although, even under Japan mode, they don't work. They may well work on an official Japanese Mega Drive. I do not know. Whatever the case, that's a small gripe. The cartridge was about £12 delivered compared to an EverDrive, which is, I don't know, what, what are they, 80 quid or something? A lot more. And uh, the lineup of games is amazing. What more do you want? Is this focusing all right? So yeah, and running on real hardware. Top pickup. What else have we got? Laser discs. So one of my friends was going past a charity shop and noticed they had 2001 A Space Odyssey. Uh, I think there's a deluxe American box set on LD. Um, I was going to pick it up. Unfortunately, we did miss that, but it got me thinking, why have I not got a version of that movie on laser disc? Now, the Blu-ray is of absolutely impeccable quality. It was one of the first Blu-rays I ever picked up. The picture quality it is fucking insane. It is stupendous. Um, so why would you get it on standard definition? Yeah, why would you? Well, <laughs> whatever. This is a late-ish release. It's 1997, I think it says on here. And uh, it's immaculate. I'll get it out. Look at this. Just some stills from the film there on the back. Some garb on the inside. One of the pods there. This is in beautiful shape as well. Uh, it's a little, this is in Dolby Digital Sound actually. And there's a little thing about setting up your speakers and whatnot. What an amazing release. It's absolutely beautiful. And it looks great as well. Obviously nowhere near as good as the Blu-ray. What do you expect? Now here's a little treat. Sorry for the reflections. So this is the MGM Deluxe Letterbox... Di letterbox. Uh, Deluxe Letterbox Edition of The Hunger. Catherine Deneuve, David Bowie, Susan Sarandon. Uh, this is one of the best vampire movies you're ever going to see. Uh, from the late, great Tony Scott. I mean, the character's never actually mentioned as being vampires. Uh, but you can be pretty sure as hell they are. Catherine Deneuve is essentially like a sucker bus. She has a partner in David Bowie, and at the beginning they go to a nightclub uh, where Bauhaus are playing, and they're playing Bela Lugosi's Dead. There's your first clue. <laughs> um, and they go on a... They're basically going to pick up. They're going to pick up a, a pair. They want to take them back to their place and uh, murder them for their blood. Uh, seemingly, Catherine Deneuve lives forever, or for a certainly... She's been alive for a very long time. How long? We're not sure. There's a couple of hints... Um, a, the bloodletting pendant she wears around her neck, uh, she states is Egyptian, 
And there's, there's a slight flashback scene where uh, she's seen sucking someone's blood when she's wearing like Egyptian garb, like sort of Cleopatra style. Um, we don't know when that's from. From the Pharaoh's time, it's, it's never told, but she's certainly extremely old. Uh, very mystical movie. You know, nothing's spelled out for you. Um, you don't have teens turning into wolves and flying about the place. Whatever, it's nothing like that at all. It's very subtly done. It's an erotic thriller as well. There's a lot of nudity in here. Uh, an excellent soundtrack. If I could compare it to anything, uh, it would be Paul Schrader's Cat People. Now, this is one I recommend wholeheartedly as well. Even the black and white original Cat People. Considerably different movie to this, but... This shares the same sort of, if you've seen this, it shares the same sort of mysticism as the hunger. Uh, almost slightly biblical, because there's scenes in this version of Cat People, um, of the cats in, you don't know when, maybe biblical times? Uh, it certainly perhaps Arabia, or somewhere that there's deserts, time periods unknown where these guys were around. So it's certainly got that in common check that out so what are these vampires up to basically pretty soon on you find out that Catherine Deneuve's partner uh, David Bowie is aging very quickly she's promised him eternal life they're going to be together forever but he starts to age rapidly uh, she's very interested in Susan Sarandon's character who's testing out uh, or researching the effects of aging on primates uh, why Catherine Deneuve is interested in that we don't know I mean there's no doubt that she's grooming other partners because she's aware that partners in the past have not lasted. Well, they've aged very quickly. Uh, it turns out Eternal Life is not all as it seems. Very interesting movie. Highly recommended. Right, and last on Lay's Disc here, we've got Raymond Briggs animation When the Wind Blows. So, extremely cheery. <laughs> animation uh, set around the threat of nuclear war essentially uh, what a beautiful Japanese lace disc great about this release uh, it's, got, it's dual language so it doesn't have burned in subtitles at all it has an English audio track thumbs up I've not actually put that on yet so uh, looking forward to checking that out Definitely. I mean, I've seen it before many years ago. I might even have a download of it, but not checked out the LD. All those were super cheap as well. Right, uh, went on a slight little spree today of uh, DVD DVDs. Wanted some stuff to watch. What do we get? We got everything here. First one we come across. Um, if they really got what it takes, it's going to take everything they've got. This is fame. Uh, turn of the 80s. Misery piece about um, trying to make it in showbiz. Iron Car starring. Excellent. Probably not the greatest movie. One of those ones, where, one of those ones from the 80s where um, the theme song's better than the movie. Uh, we've really got into period dramas around here, and this is quite a nice little set. This is the Royal Box. This is the sort of thing we're into these days, mid-30s. What can you do? So, you've got the Young Victoria, the King's Speech, and the Queen, starring Helen Mirren. Now, actually, we watched the Victoria TV show on Netflix recently, uh, within the last couple of weeks, and watched Young Victoria today. So, actually, it was actually quite a decent movie, but... Didn't really hold my attention because the source material was um, pretty much word for word the same as the uh, Victoria series on Netflix, which is a bit more fleshed out. So really familiar with the source material. Couldn't really get the grips with it because it's just the same, really. Uh, not bad, though. Emily Blunt starring. King's Speech, never seen. And the Queen, don't know. Nice little set, though, to pick up. Uh, this always appears on horror movie best of in recent history. Audition on Titan Video. Never seen this, looking forward to that. Actually been searching for this recently. They've only ever had it on download. Oh, maybe I had a VHS back in the day. Ghost in the Shell. A cyberpunk anime. 
not bad. So nice little pickups there. I don't think we've got anything else on the way. Or we've picked up anything else. So we picked up a few new subscribers recently. Um, hopefully production values will start going up in these videos shortly. Uh, we've got some cool stuff coming up, but for now, where are things packed away? We're not doing a lot, so this is just ticking things over, really. Have a groovy rest of the weekend. <laughs>